All right, what's on the bench? A uh, generous uh, viewer uh, who also has a little company uh, said that he has LED replacements for various pieces of equipment. And he also has some other things, so I, I, I encourage you to go uh, check out his website. He has lots of repair items for old instruments, which is great. Keep these old instruments running. And one of the things that dies is the vacuum fluorescent displays. And uh, I've replaced two of mine already. I've replaced it in my DVM and my 2400 Keithley. Um, I do need some other ones. Uh, and one of the ones that uh, uh, seems to be of interest to me is for my other Keithley uh, voltmeter, uh, my, my 2015. Um, which he has replacements for, so he graciously sent me one. Of course, he gets marketing out of it. So, <laughs> uh, so this is um, a nice display. It's, uh, I think it's blue LEDs, uh, multi-segment. It's going to look different than original. But I think one of the reasons I like my, uh, uh, my HP instrument here, my 30, 34401, is that the display is nice and big and bright, and uh, I did have to replace it, um, but um, but that display is nice and big and crisp, and I just like looking at it. Whereas the Keithley one is a little bit smaller, and I don't know, I just never really liked looking at it. So uh, so maybe this will f this will fix it. So uh, if you buy one of these things, they're reasonably priced. If you buy one of these things, it comes with. Uh, a whole bunch of instructions on how to do it. And uh, we'll just take a look at it here. It's just uh, a bunch of little ICs in the back, some double sticky, take the old display out, stick this one on. And then you need to add uh, power to it, which the Keithley didn't have. And so you need to solder these two wires onto a, a capacitor. There's a capacitor sitting there that's perfect to just pop this on any way you're done. So that putting it in is really easy. I think one of the more difficult parts is that the bezel is, uh, won't display this nice big display. It's a little bit narrow. So you have to remove some paint off of the Keithley bezel to open it up for this display to fit in. That seems like the only uh, more difficult part of the operation. But uh, I've got nothing to do today, and this seemed like a, a nice thing to nice thing to try. So uh, let's uh, let's start the thing. First thing to do is to open up the Keithley and see what we're see what we're getting ourselves into. Let's uh, put this back in its protective bag here. All right, what's the Keithley need? It needs a screwdriver. Sometimes they hide another screw underneath. I don't see one on this, but maybe, oh yeah, here it is. I know they always, uh, right down there, there's extra screw you need to remove. That one's very good. All right, so I took the handle off. You have to get it in the right orientation and then it pops out. And there are two, two more screws in the sides. All right, let's take a look inside the Keithley. I've never been in here before. Very nice, very, very complicated. Um, not one, but two transformers. That's interesting. Yeah, what a beauty. Wow. Go Keithley. So we need to uh, pop the pop the front off here. Okay, there's a All right can't plug that in upside down. That's good Okay uh, Let's flop it this away there we go and then the display itself is on little clips, so I need to I need to remove that. Oh, this is hard to flop around. There we go. That's better. That's better. I think it's on camera, is it? There we go. All right. So 
there's a little clippy doohickey over here that holds the display in. So let's remove him. Remember where he goes. Okay. And we're in. All right, that's what we need to work with right there. All this other stuff here we can kind of put to the back of the bench and give us some room here. All oh, right, so we need to desolder this thing. And there's a big row of connections right there. That's all we have to do. Nothing on the side. Just along the bottom here. And then it's double sticky, so that'll be tricky. It says that you might have to heat it up to get, get it out of there. But, yep, let's go to some desoldering tools. I don't think that's going to be necessary. Hmm. I don't think we got them all. You want to make sure that they are really desoldered. Because if they aren't, it's going to be a pain to get something like this out. Most of these are looking good. I'm going to touch a couple of them. So I'm going to put some solder back on a couple of them and then unsolder them again because they're just kind of stuck a little bit too much. See that? <laughs> the sticky goo. There's sticky goo. All right. It did come out nicely though. Norataki, Itron, Japan. Nice displays. Yes, nice displays. Now it's not necessary to get rid of the goo. Um, we can just leave it there. And Everything looks, that was easy. Everything looks good. All right, let's uh, get out our display here. Take a look at, it's got little double sticky things. Let's see how we, how we are doing here. I think this is going to go right in, yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's take off the double stickies. Pretty good. All right. Let's take us tilt it a little bit. Bring this out just a little bit. That looks good to me. And now we can solder the lot of the new one back in place. Oh, got the shakes this morning. Don't know why. I've always had shaky hands and some days are worse. No, I don't drink. Uh, now we need to connect 
So these two wires to that capacitor are right there. Plus goes on that side, the minus goes on that side. So. so that's all you have to do is just put the red wire on that side and the black wire on that side. And I believe we are good to go. Uh, yeah, what's on this board? A 68HC705. There you go. Crystal on it. Okay, now we need to reassemble, and I think we are ready to go. Um, let's see here. Let's do some things out of the way. All right. Yeah, so let's... Um, Let's try it out. Make sure it's functional. So this goes, this goes up here. We need to do the window, but I want to make sure that the display works before we put it all back together. Oh, what a lovely display. Yes, indeed. Uh, see that? Yeah, that's going to be nice. Real bright. Easier to read. Bigger, bigger font. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Turn this off. So now, I will show you the problem. The problem is, Keithley's window is... This is hard to work on. This is hard to work on. Keithley's window is too small and we need to open it up. Let's flop this here. Let's take this off. Come on. There we go. Oops. Okay, that gives us a little more breathing room there. All right. Um, yeah, we need to, um, uh, I don't know if this shows on camera well, but um, let's see here. there's a black mask on the window that runs to right here and we need to pull that back, pull that back 10 millimeters on both sides. All right. And you do that by um, masking it with some tape and then using um, acetone to remove the paint. So this is a kind of a ooky, an ooky process. Let's get the keyboard out of the way so we don't muck it up. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, like I said, this is going to be the most difficult part of the process. And the window is, the window is already a little scratch. We can polish the window. Yeah. Okay. So let me find some tape. All right. I've got some acetone here. I've got it masked off. And the acetone is definitely attacking the, uh, definitely attacking the uh, stuff here. To figure out how to get it off. Let's go here. Oh man, this is messy. Messy, messy.
more acetone. This is not working. Yeah, this is a big fail. <laughs> this is a big fail. Oh my goodness. This one's over here, over here I guess is okay. I did that one all right. This one's a big fail. Uh, all right, after a lot of swearing <laughs> and polishing, I got the, uh, I got the uh, plastic polished enough so it looks okay. <laughs> You're not gonna, I'm not gonna get any awards for it. I did, um, the, 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 the instructions tell you to mask things off and my masking just didn't work very well and I was uh, kind of screwed up the edges a little bit. So I just painted them. So on the, on the two sides, there's just black, uh, what used to be black, and it kind of got worn through in my poly my vigorous polishing. <laughs> so I just took some paint and I just, I just, I masked it off and then painted it and pulled the mask off. So anyway, it's, it's, it's good again. Um, so that might be a better way to do it. Instead of being so careful, just just go crazy on it, polish it, and then put the masking back on it. Put the, put the two black stripes on the edges. Um, not that it probably wouldn't matter that much, but yeah, there, here we go. Uh, it does, it does do its thing here. Let's see here. Digits. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, I like it. It's, it's like a new meter. It's like different now. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, so, uh, if you do get one for this particular thing, be cautious about the polishing of the bezel. It's a lot more work than you think it is. Uh, they do give instructions on the products to go buy to do that job. And I didn't want to buy anything, so I just kind of uh, took polish that I already had. I've had good luck with uh, automotive, like 2,000, I used like 2,000 grit sandpaper and uh, some, some polish, and uh, it, it got me to where, to where it's fine. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's just uh, in front of in front of the display that shines through it. So any little there's still a bunch of little scratches and stuff in there, but you don't you don't see them once it's once it's done. Can we zoom in any further? Yeah, a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Much more much more readable than the other one. Um, uh, he did offer, uh, the fellow who, who gave these to me, he did offer me one for my counter. And, uh, I think, I think I might, uh, I think I might do that. The counter is, I, I took a look at it again. I didn't realize the counter was that dim. Uh, as long as that doesn't require polishing, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send some, uh, I'll send some dollars his way and buy, buy, buy that one next time since he gave me this one for free. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this looks really nice.